Hey, what's up guys? So I'm back here checking out my pool. Uh, the pool guy just came by. I was just checking out a few things, but I was sitting here thinking and I also just had a conversation with one of my coaching students and it all kind of hit me at once. Why a lot of you might be struggling and this may be new agents. It could be experienced agents. But it kind of dawned on me all of a sudden because I always talk about closings happening every single day regardless of market conditions. And I think about the fact that business is unlimited forever because closings continue to happen every day regardless of market conditions. Right? And so I started to really break all this down in my mind. And I started to realize that if you wanted to do every single deal in your market, you would have to have a voice-to-voice -voice conversation with every single property owner in your market every single day, because people change their minds every day, see if they're thinking that they might do something today. And then that population, right? 100% of the population would have to like you enough to do a deal with you, right? Which is only gonna come down to a good 20, 30% of the population that you talk to is actually gonna like you enough or feel comfortable enough with you to do business with you, right? And that's really your job at the end of the day is to filter through the population and find that 20 to 30%, cultivate that group, right? Nurture that group and build a monster business. And so while I was breaking all this down in my mind, thinking about the reason why some agents get stuck at say 10 deals a year, or 20 deals a year, or maybe you're even a year and a half in and you haven't even sold anything. I started to think about it in a whole different light. And it came down to this. The universe, because things are 100% unlimited, in my mind, what's happening is, is you basically are going to do as much as you can handle. That's the real punchline here. You're going to do as much as you can handle. So if you're only doing 10 deals a year, that's basically all you can handle. And listen, I'm not saying this in a judgmental way, like, oh, you just can't handle anymore or you're not a, you're not a great agent. No, you may be an amazing agent. That's not what I'm saying. You're, you're not smart or stuff. No, not at all. I'm not judging in any kind of capacity. This has nothing to do with character. This has nothing to do with you being a great agent. This has nothing to do with how hard you work. You may be work. There's so many agents and you guys know, know these type of agents who work so hard and never really see exponential results. And so I think about this and I, I realize the universe is literally going to give you as much as you can handle. So if you're stuck at a 10 deal a year, 15 deal a year, 20 deal a year, 50 deal a year mark, right? That's as much as you can handle. The market is big enough Think about this. If you're in a market where, say, there's 100,000 closings a year, right? In Houston, there's like 130,000 closings last year. So in a market like that, if you're trying to close 50 deals a year, you're not even a microscopic dot in that marketplace. If the transactions go to 50,000, let's say it goes down 60, 70 percent, your production at 50 deals a year is still not even a microscopic dot within that marketplace. And so you have to realize this stuff is unlimited. There's enough deals out there for you to go out and do 200 deals a year, 300 deals a year, right? The problem is you can't handle 200 deals a year, 300 deals a year. And so I continued to break this down and I realized if an agent hasn't closed anything this first year and a half in the business is because he can't even handle one deal. Now, handling a deal is not from contract to close. And this is where people get it mixed up right here. This is where all of you get it twisted. Yes, the person doing 20 deals a year, sure they can handle more deals if they fell in their lap, but the process from the deal is not from contract to close, it's from relationship created to close. Going through and talking to enough people to find those 20 to 30% of people who want to do business with you, nurturing those relationships, creating the nurturing right? Those relationships until the point that they are ready to do something and then go into contract and then working through the process to close. The process from relationship created to close is a whole different scenario than from contract to close. Yeah, we could 
get contracts all day long and close 100 deals, 200 deals a year. But the process from actually filtering through the population to find the people who want to do business with you, then nurturing those relationships till they get ready to do something with you, that's what people are missing. That's the part people don't want to do. That's the part that you can't handle. You can't handle the amount of upfront work that goes into creating enough relationships to build the size business that produces the amount of closings that you want on a yearly basis. That's all I'm saying here. I kind of came to that realization that maybe it comes down to the point that you can't handle any more business. And you might say, well, I can handle more deals. No, that's not it. It's going out there, having the conversations with people in your marketplace, creating, maintaining, nurturing those relationships. Right. So I want you guys to think really hard about this. I hope this opened your eyes up as well. And um, guys, next week for three days, I'm doing a Red X boot camp. I'm going to be making live calls. They're going to do a Red X tutorial to teach you how to use the software, as well as we're going to do role playing. It's going to be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'll put a link below. It's only $197 and you're going to get a 15 day free trial of all Red X products. So I'm looking forward to making those live calls, helping you guys with your script, showing you how to use Red X. I think this is probably needing because honestly, with my team, right, I've got a team of five agents right now and I only spend a couple hundred dollars a month on Red X and we are loaded up with leads. We can call any property owner in the market. I've got two agents. All they do all day long is make calls all day long, six hours a day, right? We take an hour to um, to, to game plan strategize and then an hour at the end of each day we take our notes and make sure we're not leaving anything falling through the cracks so you know a lot of people a lot of these teams spending you know 10 20 30 thousand a month on zillow leads and this that and the other we're very lean we're lean and mean we're only spending a couple hundred dollars a month and we have thousands and thousands and thousands of leads to create relationships with Go filter through the population, find those 20, 30 percent of people who want to do business with us. Right. We nurture those relationships through the weekly email, direct mail and calling them once a year to check in. Make sure they're getting the email. See if there's anything we could do for them. How are they doing? Right. Building the relationships. So I hope this helps you guys. If you are in that place where you could be struggling, you have to continue building your database from the point that it is now. Otherwise, you're not going to see that exponential growth. Okay, guys, we'll see you guys on the next video. Till then, take care. Enjoy the weekend. Talk to you soon.